So summer is almost over. Kids are ready for school. I am ready for school. Things are getting crazy. Why? So I thought one way to simplify dinner is to make dinners that are only five ingredients or less. So this is our cookbook, six ingredients or less. Picked a few and that's what I'm making today. The first recipe I'm making is bacon wrapped cream cheese chicken. We also mark the recipes as kid approved if our kids loved them and this is definitely a loved one. All right, so I took three chicken breasts. Now these were so large that I just cut them in half just to make it a little bit easier and so they're cooked evenly. So you're gonna take about a tablespoon of the chive and onion cream cheese and we're just gonna put it right onto the chicken. Now we're just gonna roll the chicken up. Now, because my bacon is kind of small, we're gonna just do two pieces of bacon on it. Now, if you have larger bacon, you could probably wrap it twice and it would work, so this is how we're gonna put it in the pan. All right, I forgot, before you put your chicken in, make sure you spray it with nonstick cooking spray. Then just place in your chicken. So you're just gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees and we're gonna cook them for about 30 minutes. Okay, we pulled it out of the oven. Now we use pre-cooked bacon just cause it's the only bacon I had, but if you had raw bacon and you still want it to get crispy, you can broil it for about three minutes and your bacon will be nice and crispy. Okay, chicken taste test. <laughs> With the bacon, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Did you like it or not so much? Not, it, not so much. Not so, so much. Like two out of. Two out of five, five. huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Because she dips everything in ketchup, we're gonna try it with ketchup. Chicken bacon. I give it 100 out of 100. Oh, so like a five out of five? The next one on the list is easy lemon garlic shrimp. Now, my whole family loves shrimp, so my daughter was so excited when I started cooking this one. All right, we're gonna start with angel hair pasta, and I know Italian chefs are rolling in their grave at this, but I like to cut them in half because that way they will all cook evenly. And we're gonna do the whole box, so all 14 to 16 ounces, depending on your brand. Now, the secret with pasta is that you want to fill it up until all the pasta is covered with water. If you have pieces that aren't covered, they're going to be crunchy. Once you have enough water, you're gonna put your top on. Then if you have a little knob that you turn to sealing and venting, make sure it's on sealing. With this one, you gotta push pressure cook. And usually you'll cook pasta for four minutes, but because this is angel hair, we're actually just gonna cook it for two minutes. So we're gonna go the time all the way down to two. Then with this Instant Pot, I actually have to push start, but some of them you can just walk away once you hit the timer. All right, so you're gonna take a large bag of shrimp. We like a lot of shrimp in ours. And then we're going to put it into a strainer. It's completely frozen, we've got to thaw it a little bit. We're just gonna run some cool water on it for about five to seven minutes. Once you're all done thawing your shrimp, we're gonna add two tablespoons to a skillet. Heat this up so we can cook our shrimp. While that's melting, we're gonna add four teaspoons of garlic. Now that the butter is all melted, we're gonna go ahead and add our shrimp. Once it is all done cooking, you're actually going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now you can use a fresh lemon too, that would be great, but I have this lemon juice, so that's what we're gonna use today. Then we're also gonna add just two more tablespoons of butter. So in total we have about a fourth cup of butter. Now we turned the stove off so the shrimp will stop cooking, but this will just make it taste so good. All right, while this butter melts, we're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. Once the timer is done, you're gonna release all the pressure, and then your noodles will be all nice and cooked. Then when your shrimp is done, you're just gonna add it on to your pasta. Now if you want the recipe says to put parsley on top, my kids don't really like parsley, so we're gonna do parsley on some and not on the other parts. Okay, taste test of the shrimp. <laughs> Whoa, that's like the best shrimp I've had in a long time. I love it so much. Five out of five. And the last recipe is our turkey club roll-ups. So you're gonna start with some tortillas. Then I cooked up some bacon over here. It was already pre-cooked, which is my favorite. Then I just got some deli turkey. And then the recipe calls for cheddar cheese, but my kids love Colby Jack, so that's what we're using. Now these tortillas are a little bit smaller, so we're just gonna do two pieces of cheese and then some turkey. I realize you're gonna roll this up, so it's okay if you don't have a ton. Let's try one piece of bacon right now and see how it goes. You don't want the bacon to overpower. We're gonna start rolling it up. 
Now because I'm using kind of a small tortilla, I'm gonna use toothpicks to hold these little guys in place. I'm just gonna do a few here, and then we'll cut them after that. If you're using a large like burrito tortilla, I don't think you'll need a toothpick. It will, it will stay all on its own. Then I'm just going to cut them up. This is perfect for lunchtime if your kids are still at home, or perfect for home lunches if they're gonna have home lunch. To all the moms with kids at home, here's to you. It's almost school. All right, I'll see you guys next time.